Hi, this is David Williams from my Expert Advisor. In this short video, I, I want to show you the way that I test when I'm developing an EA. And uh, just something simple that I do that helps me keep track and make sure I know what it is that I'm testing. When you use the strategy tester in MetaTrader Platform, and by the way, you find that by just going to View and select Strategy Tester, uh, it's actually a pretty good tool. It allows you to test your expert advisors. But one of the problems I've had is that when you make changes to your expert advisor, you're not exactly sure that the changes are being used in your last test. So for example here, I'm going to make a change here to uh, this open function here for this expert advisor. I'm just going to change the stop loss and change it to zero. Now, I will build the expert advisor in VTS just by clicking the button. So that built, that rebuilt it. I'm sure of that. Now I want to go over and I want to run another test and see if those changes have resulted in any different outcomes. But am I sure that I'm testing the latest version of the EA? And I've added something to VTS that allows you to know that. Now, if you noticed, there's a build number that it gets incremented each time you build in VTS. The build number of the system is 27. I also have that written in the strategy tester next to the name of the test. So if we go over to where you select the test, we'll see that it says, oh, here's my test, my uh, system, system 17, build 26. Uh oh, that means I would be testing my last iteration of my expert advisor. So all you need to do is come over here select the, tap, the EA, right click and select refresh. Now when you go to the pull down and you look at it, it'll say, hey, build 27. And I can match that up in VTS right here and I know that I'm testing my latest version. Now you could do the same thing if you write your EAs using MQL. It's just that VTS kind of automates that and increments that number each time. So I'll hit build again it even says on here build 28 and it says down here build 28 and again the strategy tester does not update just because you rebuilt it it's still looking at build 27 so I'd have to come over each time and refresh and take a look and I've got build 28 again so that way I always know that what I'm testing is the latest and it really helps you keep moving along because the last thing you want to do is retest an EA with changes that you think are in there and they're not there. Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks, guys.